Cross River Army accused of atrocity in Unko over Colonel Soldiers shooting. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The Nigerian Army raid on two communities in two local government areas of Cross River State has come under severe criticism. The recurring communal crisis of claims cause of life wounded and displaced many with properties destroyed. Last weekend, some people were killed in Unko Town after soldiers allegedly opened fire on residents. The troops were drafted from Edo Barracks in Ikom to curtail the conflict between the people of Unko, Yaku local government area, and Onyadama Abi local government area to over a land dispute. On Saturday, Unko youth went on rampage, maintaining that the army has not been neutral in the face of with Onyadama. After mobilization, they confronted and shot two soldiers and a colonel who led the team. The later and his contingent were, are receiving treatment. The military authority got furious over the attack and ordered a major operation to fish out the culprits. On Sunday, troops stopped the community in vehicles after John and launched an offensive. It is unclear if there was an exchange of fire. Circulating figures suggest at least five deaths, including some people, including women, the elderly, and children, are missing. The military now faces a backlash. Okoye Bonobla, a former president of Mohammed's Buhari's aid, told Army Chief Yaya Farouk to call his men to order. Obonobla accused soldiers deployed of engaging in retaliation against innocent residents in an extreme manner. The reprisal attack against Unko community leaves a sour taste in the mouth. These reprisal attacks by law enforcement agencies on innocent villagers are wicked. He demanded that the perpetrators of a census and minders judgment be arrested and brought to justice immediately. On Tuesday, Twitter user wrote, Dear Nigerians, there are still shootings periodically in my village, Unko Yaku area. It is enough that they burnt out our house with my father in it, and my poor mother is still in the bush hiding for her life. We cannot even travel, which makes it more horrible. Help me. Help my father. Help the homeless and the poor people in Unko. A reply that followed the tweet read thus. A family friend just told me about this. Her mom is stuck at home and she cannot walk. The people taking care of her and feeding her fled to the bush, leaving her to her feet. The woman is scared and hungry alone at home. My friend is scared here in Lagos. Send help to Uko. Another opined, my colleague had to leave work early because she got a call that a bought a family house and her mom shop and that her dad is missing. Another commented, Nigeria has happened to one of our own again. The soldiers burns the home of one of our daughters with her father inside. Another opinion that was on the phone with, them, with my mom today when she was telling me about the refugees that are looking for where to lay their heads in a town. The soldiers staged the raid, raising down buildings and firing life bullets, bullets at villagers, alleging that their personnel was killed by Uncle Youth. You see, if Nigerians begin to lash out, these people will be in talk. You see why these people, they don't, they don't have 1% of respect for them. So you want to tell me if it's in the north now that this happened? You will go and start killing people like this. Like Shenron. These people are not goats or animals. They are human beings. Even if they not serve God, even they are not touch their meat. They should continue. We should clap for them. If it is bandits, they will not have the energy to do so. No problem. So if you go to other country and they go and they kill uh, or they, 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 there is an attack, you will not find out the way to go, settle the matter. Be. You will launch an attack on them. I clap for them. Huh? I clap for them. This time around, I don't even know what Nigeria is turning to. It seems our military people are one of our number one enemies. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of the day.